Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you my daily driver. This is my 13 inch early 2011 MacBook Pro. I bought this thing all the way back in February 24th of 2011. I remember ordering it that night and when it came on March 1st. Very cool, because it was the first Mac I ever had. I saved up for this thing and I bought it brand new right after the keynote. Anyway, I've used this machine day in and day out to this very day, and I have no plans of retiring this computer. It does everything I need it to do. I can do video editing, photo editing, I can do coding, I can do a whole slew of things that I want to do with this machine, and I have zero problems with it. So, obviously it has worked fantastic for me, so let's talk a little bit about the specs of this machine. Inside, we have an Intel Core i5 running at 2.3 GHz. It is dual core, but it does have four threads of execution, so we have two threads per core, which is nice. We have 16 GB of DDR3 memory inside of the machine. Intel HD 3000 graphics, which uses 512 MB of shared video memory. And a 525 GB SSD. Now listen, machine originally had a 500 gigabyte spinning traditional hard drive, but I eventually upgraded it a couple years ago to an SSD, and boy did that bring a lot of life to this machine. Now the latest upgrade that I have done to this machine is replace the battery with another genuine Apple battery, because I didn't want to use a third party battery, so I like looked around and found a genuine Apple battery to put in this machine. After putting that in, it is like this machine was brand new back in 2011. I love this machine, and like I said, I have no plans on retiring it. So let's go ahead and take a look around. Taking a look at the front of the machine here, we have a notch for opening the screen. On the right hand side, you will find the sleep-wake indicator light, which pulses when it is sleeping, and the IR receiver. On the left hand side of the machine, we will find the ports. Going from left to right, we have our MagSafe connector. This is for obviously charging the machine, and it is the first generation style of that connector. Next to that, we have Ethernet, FireWire 800, first generation Thunderbolt, two USB 2.0 ports, an SD card slot, and audio in and out. All the way on the right, we will find a battery status indicator light. On the right hand side of the machine, we will find our Super Drive, in addition to a Kensington lock port. On the bottom of the machine, we can find an easy to open panel using only Phillips screws to hold it shut, so you can make any upgrades, well, quite easily. At the top, we can find the hinge for the screen and ventilation. Opening up the machine at the top of the screen, we can find our 720p EyeSight camera with an indicator light saying if it's on or not on one side and an ambient light sensor on the other. Moving down from that, we have our 13-inch glossy display, in addition to the MacBook Pro logo right there. Of course, we have our chiclet-style keyboard and our nice glass trackpad, in addition to a microphone up there in the left-hand corner, and the power button in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this machine on. Here we go. Now currently this machine is running macOS High Sierra 10.13.4 and there's absolutely no problems with that. Now the next version of macOS, whatever that may be, is currently unknown as the making of this video. It'll probably be macOS 10.14 but like I said that's currently unknown what the name of that will actually be. Now I have a feeling it will be supported on this machine, however some sources say yes and some sources say no, but again there's no official name or release of the next Mac OS, so it's currently unknown. But I'll let you know in the um, description of the video if it will be supported or not when that is announced. So anyway, it boots up pretty fast here with the SSD installed, and there we are at the desktop ready to do whatever you'd like. It does have Wi-Fi. We can connect to any modern Wi-Fi network without any problems at all, and that's obviously very convenient. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of this machine. We can see Mac OS High Sierra, as I previously stated, and some of the specs as well. We found the displays, storage, the SSD is pretty full with all my YouTube stuff, memory, and of course there's support there as well. So that's the basic overview of the computer here, now that we have it turned on. 
Now, speaking of internet, you can throw any internet task at this machine and it'll work just fine. I haven't had any problems with any of the internet tasks here. So um, I like to use Safari personally. So let's go ahead and open that up and we'll go to lighting gallery here. That's a nice basic website to use. And it scrolls and works just fine. There's absolutely no issues here. So that's a nice basic website. Of course, I use this for YouTube, obviously. I'm currently signed out, but um, you can watch any quality YouTube video on here. I usually watch like 720p or 1080, and that works just fine. Now, I don't know why you'd want to use 4K because it doesn't even have a 4K display. So you're just wasting your time there, but um, yeah, 720p and 1080 works absolutely fine on this computer. It streams it just fine, whether it be YouTube or Twitch or, or uh, Netflix or whatever your service may be. It all works without any problems. And the same can be said for the other internet browsers as well, such as Opera here or Firefox or Chrome. They're all up to date and fully supported on this machine. Obviously, you can see offices on here. So here's Word, and with the SSD, it helps a lot with this. It'll boot up uh, the application very quick. There it is. We can hit Create, and we're off. There's our document. So you can go ahead and quit Word there. Don't save. Um, I do have Photoshop on this machine. It is the oldest version of Photoshop to work on an Intel processor, as I believe Photoshop CS3 was a universal version which worked on Intel and PowerPC machines. I just thought it would be interesting to see if I could try to get it to work on here, and it did. Here it is. However, the rest of the Creative Suite for the third version there doesn't really work very well. Um, it's either Illustrator or InDesign just doesn't work at all. Um, Photoshop does work just fine. I haven't had any problems with using it on this machine, um, even though it's such an old version. Now, some of the menus may be a little messed up, and that's just because of it using the modern uh, user interface versus its older user interface, but it is still you can still navigate it and use it just fine. All these other applications work on here as well. Um, I don't have currently installed Final Cut Pro, but I have used that on here without any issues. I personally like to use um, iMovie. I use that a lot for all of my video editing because it's just basic. It gets the job done for what I want to do. And, well, it, it just it, get, it gets it done. It does what I need, and that's about it. So, yeah, all these other applications run fine. I do play Minecraft on this computer. It runs just fine. Again, put it on, like, you know, average of settings. Don't expect anything too spectacular out of it. Um, Roblox, I'm not too sure. That's something that some of the um, my uh, cousin's kids like to play. Um, so I haven't really watched them do that. So I don't know if it still works. I'm guessing so because that kind of looks up to date. But yeah, I've used this computer ever since I bought it back in 2011. And it works just fine with everything I throw at it. It's a fantastic MacBook. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of how well this computer still works here in 2018. Like I said, I have no plans on retiring it, and I'm sure it'll work great for many more years to come. Once again, I really do hope you enjoyed, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.